I am now back from Walmart. Um, I ended up spending a lot more money than I thought, of course, again. But I try and do at the beginning of the month like a larger grocery haul to get like snacks and freezer food and extra stuff that like I don't really want to be spending money on throughout the rest of the month. Um, and then I can do like baking and other things like that for um, snacks and breakfast. But um, I spent just over $300 and a lot of this stuff is more like stock up items, lunch items, breakfast things, um, and a few things that I wasn't really planning on buying, but I picked them up because I saw them and I knew that we would end up using them. But um, I will find out exactly how much I spent. My receipt's still in my purse, but I will flip it around and show you everything that we got. Okay, let we will start over here. From, so we got two gallons of whole milk. I have a package of the Mission Corn Tortillas. I'm making cream, what are they called? Green chili enchiladas um, for like our Christmas celebration this weekend. So I got those. And then I also got two packs of the regular flour tortillas. So there's 20 of them. We're gonna do breakfast burritos this week. And then I thought um, next week if we do tacos or if the kids want breakfast burritos again, then we can do that. They love when I do breakfast burritos. So those are just nice to have on hand or they can make quesadillas like after school or something like that. I was able to get two 12 packs of our favorite sparkling water. I actually wouldn't say it's our favorite, but it's the cheapest one. So you get 12 cans for 364, I believe. So it's cheaper than getting like the bubbly or LaCroix or something like that. Um, but we got the lime and the blackberry. And then I also saw this. This is not something I was planning on buying, but it's the, I'm not even gonna say it because I'll get made up fun of for not knowing Spanish, but it's this brand, the Fiesta Pack, and it comes with lime, mandarin, pineapple, and fruit punch. The kids love these whenever we go to our favorite taco restaurant. Xavier always gets one with his like meal, but that'll just be like a fun treat for them. We all, oh, there's 12 of them. There's 12 in the bottle, or 12 in the box. These are another favorite for, to go with lunches or like after school snacks or things like that. The sea salt poppables. I also picked up Sophia's favorite flavor chip, um, the salt and vinegar poppables, and then also the barbecue poppables. They were like on rollback, so they were only $2.50 a bag. Usually they're $3, so I just got three of them to put in the cabinet just to have on hand. I also got a bag of barbecue Lay's. I'm making pizza burgers tonight. And this is everybody's favorite chip to eat with pizza burgers for some reason. So I got a big bag of those. We have a gallon of chocolate milk, a gallon of orange juice, two, two things of coffee creamer, the vanilla silk almond creamer. I also like the sweet cream one, but you can only find that at Target usually, or our Walmart doesn't have it. I know you can get it at Target, but the vanilla one's good too. We have a bag of Parmesan cheese, a bag of Fiesta Blend cheese, a bag of shredded mozzarella. That's for the pizza burgers. I wanted to get the slices, but they did not have the slices. I got the sliced pepper jack cheese. That's for the enchiladas. And then a package of sliced Colby jack cheese. We will be home from my mom and dad's on Sunday, so I thought, Sunday night we can just do like ham and turkey sandwiches. So then we have cheese to go with that. And I'll get the ham and turkey like on Friday. We needed more spreadable butter. So I like this, just the great value spreadable butter with canola oil. I repurchased the classic pepperoni pizza flavored dip for Nick. He loves this stuff. Um, Got that one. I did get that fried dill pickle one a couple weeks ago and it was not good. It was too salty. 
to have like regular potato chips and that dip. So we just got two of these this time. This is gr Greek vanilla yogurt. The kids like to have that with granola after school or breakfast. A uh, thing is sour cream. That's for the enchiladas. And then my favorite, the top the tater chive and onion dip. That's really good with just potato chips. We got two bags of hamburger buns. That's for pizza burgers tonight. We got two boxes, oops, two boxes of elbow macaroni. Um, I don't know how your grocery store is, but I know ours has not had pasta. Um, or they just have like very random selection of pasta. So I just picked up a few of the ones that we use kind of regularly. So I got two boxes of the elbows and then a box of lasagna noodles and also two boxes of orzo. Oh, and then I got two boxes of fettuccine, but they still had no spaghetti, um, just very random like bow tie, uh, a lot of lasagna, but I just grabbed it because then we can have it on hand and make it at some point this month. We got another five pack of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Um, Nick loves these. Cheeto mac and cheese, flame and hot. I got four of those. Let's see, next we have, let's do the meat. A pound package of the Jimmy Dean sausage. This is what I use. This and chorizo I use for the breakfast burritos. I mix them together, cook them up, and then add eggs to it and scramble them. And so it's like the meat and the eggs is all mixed together. But this kind of like tames down the flavor of the other stuff. So I got that. A This is the only kind of chicken breast they had. So it was a a little over almost two pound package of thin sliced chicken breast that's for the enchiladas and then some steaks I'm gonna be gone this week and the kids love it when Nick makes steak for supper so that's one of the meals that they chose to have for him to make so we have just like the sirloin tender steak um, I'll just cook them on the stove and then to go with their steak supper, I have two zucchinis. We just slice them up and roast them in the oven with salt and pepper and olive oil and a chopped up onion. I got two boxes of the reduced sodium chicken broth. That's just another thing that I usually grab when I go to the grocery store. Just something to have on hand because it, it, you do use it in a lot of recipes. I have a combination Totino's Pizza Party pizza. And then I got a single one and then a box of four. Those are just uh, I used to buy these quite often and the kids really like them, but I thought it would be something simple to have in the freezer for like leftovers night if there's not enough leftovers or you know, something like that. We are actually gonna have pizza on Friday, so that's what these are for. Or maybe we're having them on Thursday, doesn't matter. But one day this week we are having frozen pizza, so that's what that's gonna be. Um, and then here's two DiGiorno pizzas too. We have the Supreme um, Rising Crust. Shoot, I thought that was a thin crust pizza. I guess I got the wrong one. But it's the Supreme Rising Crust pizza and then the Stuffed Crust pizza. I have a bag of marshmallows for our Christmas celebration. I am making um, chocolate fondue, so we're gonna do like the melting pot marshmallows to go with it, where you crush graham crackers and then roll the marshmallows in the graham crackers, and it's like a really good dipper for that. We are also having, oh, this goes with the breakfast burritos. These are the shredded hash brown Simply Potatoes. I love these. I have a bag of sweet um, mini peppers. These are super good for hummus. I'm gonna make hummus. I am going to make hummus today. I'm going to make hummus today. So I have cucumbers in the um, refrigerator already and then I'm gonna use these and then we have some really good like Ritz crackers to go with it too. I have two containers of 
um, freeze-dried chives. I bought one last week and it rolled out of the bag in the back of the car. So I found that in the back of the car when I was unloading groceries. And then I bought another one because I thought we needed it. So now we have two. So that's perfect. A can of diced green chilies. That's for the enchiladas. A can of, or a jar of Prego pizza sauce and a jar of the Great Value pizza sauce. That's for pizza burgers tonight. Over here, these are Destiny Trolley Sour Gummy Creations. I thought they were really cool. These are for Nick and the kids while I'm gone. I just thought it might be something, like a good little treat for all of them. They're like, there's not that many in a bag, so I got them each their own bag. I have two bags of milk chocolate chips. This is like the double bag. So it's four cups instead of two cups. This is for we're making chocolate covered bacon as well as the chocolate fondue. So that goes for each of those. These are like my little treat that I have at night if I have a sweet tooth. But it's the Dole No Sugar Added Gel Mixed Fruit. It's just jello with mixed fruit in it. I like it. And it like hits the spot when I want something sweet. Also, this is for, Sophia will probably make this this week when I'm gone, but it's Supreme Triple Chunk, no, yeah, Supreme Triple Chunk Brownie Mix. So you can do brownies and ice cream one night or something like that. I needed olive oil. I've never bought this brand before, but it's just the one I got. I think it'll be fine. I usually get Trader Joe's olive oil, but I haven't been there in a long time, so I just grabbed that. We have been wanting coffee at night, like just to like sit down and watch TV and have a cup of coffee. So I got a box of the decaf breakfast blend coffee to try. I think it should be fine. Um, I also got our regular uh, variety pack of coffee, which we love. This is for the fondue, some Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. I, this was the only size they had. I wanted to get the smaller one, but they didn't have any. This is the granola that the kids like to have with their Greek yogurt. It's the Nature Valley Protein Oats and Honey Granola. I got two of those. Sophia requested this. I thought it was kind of random, but she's like, I want those Tiger Flakes cereal. So she wanted Frosted Flakes. But I got a bat or a box of the Frosted Flakes cereal, and then Amelia said she wanted Captain Crunch. I don't usually buy cereal, but I thought with like being gone and it is convenient to have cereal on hand because they can have it in the morning, they can have it after school, they can have it before bed, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, also, this is Xavier's favorite cereal, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I got the family size box of that. And then I got Miss Amelia wanted goldfish, so we got the rainbow goldfish for her. Well, for all the kids, but. And she also requested the baby goldfish. So we got those. And then a 101 fluid ounce jug of the downy lavender and vanilla bean. What is this stuff called? Fabric softener, that's right. I started using this. This is something new for me, the downy fabric softener. I don't know why I never used fabric softener before, but I got that too. We really like it. Oh, this fell. I got the greatest chips on earth, the Old Dutch Ripple potato chips, three pack, delicious. That's all the Walmart stuff that I got. And then we also, or I, went to Target to pick up a couple of things. This is like my favorite treat snack, the Sweet Heat Barbecue, oh, there's a glare. Sweet Heat Barbecue Trail Mix, it's so good. It says with sweet barbecue flavored crack coated peanuts, seasoned almonds, corn nuggets, and honey roasted sesame sticks. Super delicious and addicting and really, really good. So I got two of those, I picked up I went on a limb and guessed that Xavier would want these for his Valentine's. They're the Fun Dip Mystery Flavor pouches and that has the card on it too. So you just have to buy one thing. 
but I think there's like 22 kids in his class so that'll be perfect if we need another one that'll be okay too but I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna want for his candy for Valentine's Day I got two tubes of this chapstick total hydration um, chapstick Sophia said she needed chapstick so I just grabbed two of them we are in dire need of new towels but I'm trying to wait so I just grabbed this six pack of washcloths it's like 275 our washcloths are like literally rags they're terrible looking so I got these we'll just replace six of our washcloths that we currently have and then on their clearance I found this um, this is for Nick it's the Harry's holding spray box in style no residue or crunchiness originally $5.99 on clearance for $2.99 so I picked that up got this one for myself the sexy hair big root pump originally $16.49 I got it for $8.24 and then very last thing I needed shampoo so I got the Nexus clean and clean and pure shampoo protein fusion I was using the like repairing one that's in the purplish blue bottle which I really like but it kind of makes my hair greasy so I got this one to try this shampoo and then I got I still have that other conditioner um, like I have most of a bottle still so I'll just use this one and then the one that I already have for the conditioner so that is everything that I got I spent about $50 at Target. That's everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put our meal plan on the screen next. And now I need to get all this stuff put away. So I hope you come back next week and I will see you next time. Bye.